हाय एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एक्सेस कंट्रोल और नेटवर्क एडमिशन कंट्रोल अलाउस एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू प्रिवेंट अनऑथराइज डिवाइस फ्रॉम एक्सेसिंग द नेटवर्क रिसोर्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ नेटवर्क एक्सेस कंट्रोल along with its various components so let's start now 802.1x is an ieee standard and it is a form of basic network access control so this 802.1x is referred as port based network access control now network access control secures the concept of bring your own device where an em an employee of an organization can bring its own gadgets and can connect uh, these gadgets uh, to the organization network so network access control implement security for such kind of mechanism now the network access control encompasses four security concepts and the first one is the intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system and next concept is the user or system authentication and next one is endpoint security and next one is the network security so all these four concepts are encapsulated inside network access control Now in this video I will first discuss the flow diagram of network access control including various components and then I will discuss the pre admission control process used by network access control and the post admission process and also the architectural options available for network access control and in the end I will discuss certain advantages Now this is a network access control server which is the network policy enforcer for uh, the network access control solution So this network access control solution can be deployed in line or out of band which I will discuss in the later part of my video Now this network access control server is connected to a switch or a firewall and this switch and firewall has multiple ports and some of these ports are granting access to endpoints and these endpoints may include the desktop laptops or any bring your own device that is the smartphone and also uh, any printer or any other dumb terminal like thin clients so once these uh, devices uh, tries uh, try to connect to the organization network uh, over this switch then the network access control implements uh, security for such kind of mechanism now this is a quarantine vlan uh, to which these unauthorized or un or non compliant endpoints are first uh, granted admission to so all the non compliant endpoints are entered into this quarantine vlan and this is the security update server which is used to update the security configuration of non compliant endpoints in order to make them compliant and uh, and this is another mechanism known as arp or address resolution protocol or neighbor discovery protocol poisoning which is used by network access control to prevent any unauthorized or any non compliant device access to the network and this is the captive captive portal uh, which is used for similar purposes now after a non compliant endpoint a has been made compliant by installing necessary configurations then this non compliant endpoint becomes compliant endpoint and then it is granted access to the certain vlan 
and i will discuss this entire process uh, just now now in post admission control uh, the system or the user profiling uh, is done by the network access control it means that these desktops or laptops or smartphones or printers or thin clients once they are trying to connect to the organization network using this switch are first profiled and if their profile indicates that these are non compliant as per the network policy or the organization system policies then these all devices are made part of quarantine vlan so the system or the uh, user authentication is performed by network access control and this network access control solution monitors the profile or the device profile and there can be two mechanism the first mechanism is uh, the quarantine vlan in which the non compliant endpoint is uh, granted or redirected and after redirected to this quarantine vlan these non compliant endpoints uh, are redirected to the security update server so that they can install necessary configurations and another mechanism is the address resolution or neighbor discovery protocol poisoning uh, in which the gateway of these laptops or these endpoints are considered as the network access control server until and unless these non compliant devices are made compliant by installing necessary security configurations and another option is the captive portal which is basically used uh, during hotspot operations in which the user is directed to a website or locally hosted website in which user has to enter the credentials so this website is known as captive portal so this is just a page which is displayed to the user so that user can enter its uh, credential and then the user is granted access uh, to the organization uh, network or he may be allowed to use uh, the hotspot services like internet so uh, the non compliant endpoints are checked uh, against uh, the let latest antivirus signatures uh, because if their signatures are uh, not updated or there is no antivirus installed on the endpoints then there is a chance of cross contamination where uh, this non compliant endpoint may cause contamination of other uh, network resources so system patches are also checked and also the security configuration of endpoints and then automated uh, remediation process is performed by installing necessary uh, security updates through the security update server once the non compliant endpoint uh, is placed in the quarantine vlan and in post admission control after uh, the non compliant endpoint is made part of uh, the compliant endpoints by installing necessary configuration then post admission controls are implemented uh, so based upon the device profile or the user profile the user is granted access uh, to certain network resources for example if the user is part of hr department then uh, he is granted access to only the hr vlan based upon the compliance result now this is a, a kind of implementation of role based access control in which based upon the user role the user is granted access to resources Uh, now the network access control solutions can be used in line or it uh, these can be used out of band so once these solutions are used in line it means that all the network traffic has to pass through network access control solution before uh, it is going 
to the gateway so uh, once these are uh, deployed uh, out of band uh, then there is no need of deploying them in line and these are just on the uh, monitoring uh, or in a passive mode so in inline mode these are in active mode actively processing the traffic so this inline solution is all in one it means that it includes the switching and firewalling functions as well as network access control functions and these can be agent list or uh, these are very easy to install and uh, especially for the new networks whereas the out of band uh, solutions are mostly suitable for existing networks and these are also agent less or agent based so in this uh, uh, out of band solution the network access control is remotely uh, monitoring the network traffic Now there is also a concept of mobile network access control and in this concept uh, there is a trade off between security and availability. So if the bandwidth of network is not sufficient enough to install the security updates uh, then the user is showed a warning if its device is not compliant as per the network access control policies but these security updates are not installed and user is not quarantined rather uh, he is just uh, showed with a warning and once the user is connected over the media which has more bandwidth like wifi or wired then uh, the these necessary security updates are installed on the devices now network access control uh, encounters zero day attacks which are which are the unknown attack or using the unknown vulnerabilities and this network access control solution also provide the triple a services that is authentication authorization auditing and also the accounting and these also implement role based access control in which the user is granted access to the enterprise resources based upon its his role and network access control also enforces the use of secure network protocol for example extensible authentication protocol over transport layer security and network access control solutions can be integrated Uh, with other uh, tools for example the network operation center or security operation centers so this was all from my side please stay connected uh, to my channel and please provide your feedback uh, 